Good. So watch that you don't have too much left bend. Ride him onto the track a little bit more and think right side a little bit straighter. Yeah, that's better. Good. And then think right side straight again. Yeah, that's it. Just so that he's not like falling left. You can have slight like right fle uh, left flexion, but make sure you can him round in your right rein. Good. Now come on the circle, but don't bend him too much to the left. Keep him straight in that right side. Yeah, that's better. And now he looks like he's in both of your reins. Good. Okay, do a transition to trot as you cross the centre line here. Right side straight again. Yeah. And then you can go to counter again as you cross the centre line this way. Keep those ears up. Sit, soft hands and counter. It's all right. Trotting again. And when you're ready, just re-ask. Push him with your right leg. Well done. Now right side straighter again. Now to go around and do that trot transition again on the centre line, don't over bend him to the left. So here, just straight right side trot, much better. Just got to move that bit so he stays a bit more through in it. Do it again here at C. Right side straight and trot it and stay in trot. Better. Good, stay in trot. Good, you're going to go to counter once more. This time you've got to like move the bit through the transition. So sit, soft, move the bit. Yeah, much better transition. Just needs a little bit more right leg so that he gets the correct lead. Don't do anything wrong, just use your right leg a little bit more. Right leg, yeah, much better. Good, and then you'll transition to trot again, and right side straight, shoulders, and trot on. Yeah, good. Uh -uh, to your up, Ooh, use your voice. Good, and then trotting on. Good, and then you have a transition to walk as you come here to see, right side straight again, and walking. Much better. And you'll see it on the video when you come around the corner. If he's too much bent to the left, he's falling right. And then you lose the contact with him going from your outside rein. And those transitions, I know that when you make him straighter in the right side, it's then more difficult to get that canter left. But you've got to get that canter left by a bit more pressure from your outside leg to stop him falling right, which makes him canter right. Good, we'll have a walk, change the rein and do the same thing on the right Good, so same thing this way. That feeling of him being in both of your reins. Good, now what we need to try and do as well is just see if we can get the contact a little bit more up and round so that he doesn't sort of drop a bit behind the vertical. Yeah, so just stay in trot for a minute. See if you can shorten up the reins a tiny bit so you can find out. Sit. Good, and trotting. Good, and what you've got to be careful is that when you want to make him rounder, you're not wrong, but you've got to make him round up not round down does that make sense otherwise obviously he drops behind the bride then you're going to get slaughtered for him being you know sort of too good low. Round down. yeah well, not so good that's better round. there and then don't make him any rounder than that good that's it that's better good now you can flex him slightly to the right but when you do it don't let him drop his ears up up and yeah that's it good but make sure you keep your range short and your hands down <coughs> Otherwise, it's like a false contact and you almost bring your hands up because you feel like you've got nothing in your rein. That's much better. Now I transition to walk as you cross the centre line, just walking. Stay and walk. Don't make him too round. Just keep him secure on the bit. Good. And then when you're ready to trot, and again, just keep him secure on the bit. Move the bit so that he's up and into the contact. Not Yes, good. And then slight right flexion. Don't worry about that. Shoulders back. Use your voice. Well done, legs. And trot. Yeah. It's getting that like pull in the rein that's like out to the contact. Good, that's much better. Now this way you can bend into the right a little bit more. You know what happens is you get a bit left side dominant. Good, that's better. And the contact there looks much, much better. Feels better. Good, come round and just do your transition to walk over the centre line. And I want you to walk all the way around to S and then think trot and stay in trot so he doesn't anticipate seat, legs, ears up. Don't let him bury, walk. Walk. Good. Slight flexion on the right. 
Yeah, good and then soft. And you're going to think trot and stay in trot. Just move the bit and trotting. Good. And then move the bit, legs off. Move the bit, right flexions. Good. That's it. Well done. Ears up. Don't pull him round. Yeah, up and round. Not down. Good. That's better. Well done. Right, we're going to do the same thing in the canter this way. So as you cross the centre line here at C, you can sit and canter to the right. So just think soft. Like, very good. And now ride forward in the canter. Now that's where you've got to get right bend. It's all right. Just go forward to trot. Do it again. Just stay in trot for a minute. Do shoulder fall to the right. Yeah. Good. Now leg your gym out with your inside leg a little bit. So like cut the corner and then leg your gym into the corner. Good. Now push him out. Yep. Well done. Now keep the right bend. Sit and canter and think shoulders to the right. Shoulders to the right. Yeah. Do a 10 meter circle getting forwards in right bend. Because what he wants to do is go everywhere traveling left with his ass to the right. Good. You've got to get him to accept that bend. Good. And then you can come round. R try and canter again. Yeah, now just go with it and now bend him through on the right side. Good, up and round. Good. You've got to think about putting your shoulders to the right. Good, like that. There you go. Well done. Go down the long side by the shoulder fork, all the way down there. Keep him forward, soften your left hand. Shoulder in, down that long side. Yeah, good. That's it. Let him canter, right flexion still. Relax your left hand. Yeah, you've got to still get more shoulder fall to the right. He still looks like he's looking left. There. Yeah, and that is what he doesn't like to do. It's all right, come and do it again. Just pat him on the left. Good, and then down the long side again, shoulder fall to the right, and every time he gets locked up, let go of your left brain and pat him down the left side. Good, right leg into the, yes. Good, and again, push him with your right leg a little bit more. Got to get more hind leg under still. More, yeah, that. Feel that? You've got to unlock that right side. Good, soft hands through the short side here. It's all right, good, have a walk. That is what you've got to do to get him like not so fixed and grotty through that right. Trot transition, the trot hand to transition this way. And do your shoulder fall down the long side and then we'll come and do a quarter line leg yield out. And again, like I said, don't like get on top of him. If he starts getting grotty, just like move the bit, offer the hand forward and ask again. Good, trotting. And think, shoulders to the right, even like there. Good, yeah, that's all right. See, that's where he's got to just learn to like let go. Good. Well done. Do your um, exercise where you cut the corners and just leg yield him out a little bit. So like here, push him with your right leg into the left side. Yeah, well done. And again, push him out. Out again, right bend. More right bend. That's it. That's bend. But bend him up, remember, not down. Yeah, good. Now when you're ready, forward, soft hands and canter. Soft and canter on. Much better. Shoulder fall down the long side. Can you feel the difference in that transition? Good, now push that right hind underneath again. We get right flexion. Yeah, you've got, yes, there. You've got to bring the shoulder in and push the right hind under. Very good. Move the bit a little bit. Come and do it once more. Right flexion. Yeah, good. Soft, pat him on the left and right flexion, right leg. Good, soft, that's it. Just gently, right leg. Well done. That's all right. No more angle than that. Good, right leg again. Good, there, that's your angle. That's more than enough. Good, right, go down the quarter line. Ears up, right flexion, right bend. Yeah, and then when you're ready, your leg yield out to the wall. So here, right bend, right leg, and just push him up and over, up and over, good. And now shoulder four again to the right, shoulder four. Yeah, more, good, there, well done. Come and do that once more. I want you to finish the leg yield in shoulder four, not traverse. Neck up. We'll do this once, circle, canter, we'll do it once more, right bending, come on, yeah, well done, good. You consciously bend him, bloody lap, all the time. Good, quarter line, do this once and have a rest, up, it's all right, and then just push him over, even when he's having a paddy, over, over, now over, and now shoulder four, right hind, under, yes, good, go with it, go with it, come on, right hind, right hind. Yeah, make him go through here and right bend. Circle, circle. Yeah, he's got to go over himself a bit. Good, and pat him on the left. Left, yeah, good, well done. Transition to trot in shoulder four. And shoulder four straight away as you get to the trot. Trotting, shoulder four, well done. Good, and have a walk. Well done. All that's happened is, is that you've got dominant with the left. 
I want him in right bend now, and he's like, no, that's not what happens. That's not how we do things here. <laughs> yeah, but the counter looks a lot better. He's just got a little lot better in right bend. And on the ball on the left rein, you're getting so much left, like you said, it's falling right. You've got to think right side on both reins. Yeah. I have forgotten that completely. Well, don't worry. Right, right, are you ready? We'll do the left hand and then we'll have a look at the back to work on the trot to get this right side set for. like you can either have one or the other good well done and that looks a lot softer in your hands good now don't think about bending him left think about turning him through the right with your right leg yes good well done do a circle like that each corner good that's much better and now he's look all coiled up left well done very nice right we're going to do a transition to kent up Remember, no left bending, right leg. So sit, right leg, soft hands, center. Right leg, good, don't worry about that. Legs. Yeah, now right side straight, make it round in the right rein. Good. Now back up to trot again, right flexion. Good, and to your up. Oh, good, legs, 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 good. Flexions down the right, well done. Pattern. Good, and then forward. Right side straight and a transition to trot again. Use your upper body and your voice to your up Ooh, and trot on. Good, well done. Stay in trot for a minute. Should we come around and do that counter transition in the corner again? You've got to like be softer in your hand with it and use your upper body and your leg in your seat. Look, yes, pat him on the left. Good. Don't worry, around on the right side. The reason I want you to pat him in the left is so you let go of that left rein. Yes, good, well done. Now right side straight and trotting again. Use your voice. Shoulders trotting on. Good. Soft hands and stay in trot. Good. Ears up. Right side straight. Well done. Go and do a serpentine down the school. Not with left bend. Good. That's a good turn. Now here you can bend them to the right. Yeah. Make sure when you change the diagonal, do it a bit softer. Yeah. Well done. Right side straight. Good. Soft. Yeah, well done. Right bending, left leg. Very good. Okay, come on the diagonal, long diagonal to letter M. Right side straight again. Good, and now a little bit forward. Ears up. And now back, right side straight. And now go again. Right side straighter. Yep, and now back again. Good. Otherwise, again, he looks like he's hanging in your left rein. Well done. And the ears up. Right brain, pat him on the left. Good. Okay, transition to walk again. Well done, much better. If you ride him like that, it will just start to all start to feel a bit easier. Like those transitions always look all that already look much better. The girls were very, very the right brain. Short reins, what would you go on? One either. Good. Okay, I'm trotting. Are you ready? Good, so just do a tiny to circle here at C. Get forward. Well done, now rounding both reins on the circle. Very good, well done. Moving that bit, pushing with those legs. Well done. Right, go down the long side. I want you to ride a really easy shoulder in, okay? Not too much angle. Yeah, forward though. Yeah, now move the bit. There, good. And round, and now legs. Good, keep it. Keep your right leg on. Just keep moving that bit, pushing with the right leg. 
Well done. Good. Right flexion a little bit. Yeah. Now come down the quarter line. Right bending. He is up. Good. And then when you're ready, leg yield over to the left. Not too much. Yeah. You've got to start in leg yield, not shoulder in. It's all right. Come and do that again. When you do your leg yield, yes, I want you to have right bend, but don't have so much right bend that he's almost like coiled too much to the right. Think of it more like parallel, shoulders leading left. But you've got to be able to see that right eye. And you've got that right nostril touching your comb. So parallel and up and over. Take the right hind under, up and over, right hind. Yes, better. Now, what I want you to do is ride a longer line, a bit more forward and up the school, okay? The positioning was much better. Come down the center line this time. Right flexions onto the line. Yeah, good. Now position your hands over to the left. Hands left. Good. And now right leg on. Forward. Come on, forward. Come on, keep going. He's shitting and he's got to learn to do both. Hands that way. It's too much right bend. Hands that way. Yeah, good. So what you've got to learn to do is like control it. Because as soon as I tell you to put your hands that way, it runs. Center line again. Good. Forward and up the school. Legs. Good. Now just soften both your hands to the left. And think forward and up the school. Forward and up the school. Yes, up the school. Shoulders left. Shoulders left. Yeah, more hands to the left. Yeah, hands left. Legs on. Hands left. Legs on. Yeah, it's still quarters leading. Do you feel it? It's all right. Come and do it again. You've got to learn to just like make changes and, and corrections. Hands to the left. That way. Yeah, up the school though. Right, go straight. That's not good. Right, come and do it how we used to do it, where you ride a diagonal line first. So go on the diagonal from C to, is that B or E? I'm so blind, B. Yeah, C to B, diagonal, legs forward. Now, just push from there, bring your right leg on and go sideways. Yeah, softly. Yeah, so you, it's better, but I want it like, still like softer in a leg, you're not so parallel. I want it curving around your inside leg. Do A to E. So look. Diagonal. Now, don't make him straight. Just bring your right leg on. Just bring your right leg on. Yes. Up the school, though. Up the school towards E. Up the school. Yes. That's the one. Do you feel it? But when you bring your right leg on, I don't want him just going... Yeah. I want you to be able to ride like forward and fluid. Yeah, that's it. You've got to literally just bring your legs on. And make changes with your legs. If he starts to run sideways, use your left leg. So that you ride him like forward and up the school with your left leg and your right leg to make him go sideways. It's just because we're not riding a leg yield right for a test right now. We're riding a leg yield to get him more supple and if he's not around your leg and he's just falling, then it's eliminating the purpose of riding the leg yield. Yeah, I've decided I want to want to dust my jumping boots off again. I haven't got ready and I can jump. I said to Rachel, are you, oh, you're going again. Right, shoulders left. Yeah, so that's got to be more shoulders left and more forward and up the school, yeah? Better positioning at the end there. Right, go on the line now. Go from C to whatever the funny marker is, P. And I want you not to reach the school before then, but I want you to go forward. So diagonal line to P, and now left leg, right leg, and just up the school. Right leg and over, right leg and over. Keep going in the flexion. Yeah. So that's much better from a point of view of impulsion and up the school. Now it's got to be a bit more in right flexion and curved around your leg. A again on the diagonal to S. Look. And now just get him curving around your inside leg. Yes. That's the one. Up the school, up the school. Yeah, well done and well corrected, yeah? Because he'll do anything not to have to bend through that right side. Good, much better. Do you feel the difference? Yes. But you've got to think about why we're doing it and we're trying to get him to like let go of here. Yeah. And I know that he puts himself on those lines and he tries to do everything in his power to not have to bend through that right side. And that's why you've got to be so strict on yourself now. If he starts going grotty and putting his quarters first, just go straight for a few steps and get it again. Remember, right side straight this way. Mm. 
Yeah, so shake him off that bit, move the bit. Yeah, move the bit. Yeah, move the bit. When he lets go, pat him and walk off. Good. Okay, actually, yeah, well done. So as you come through that turn out the corner from F, right side straight, shoulder in, not slow, forward. You can ride a le less angle. That's not a problem, it's got to be forward. Good, round in the right. Yeah, forward, that's too much left bend, way too much left bend. Yep, there you go. I'd rather you ride less in both reins. That is very good, do you feel that? Uh -uh, right, well done, good correction. Yeah, and I know that he like makes you want to bend him left, but you are creating for a rock of your own back if you don't make him accept that right rein. Good again, shoulder pull. Good, well done, much better. And again, angle. Yeah, yeah, come on, keep your left leg on. Well done, okay. Quarter line, do your slight angle towards B, left leg on, right side straight and the leg yield over. So shoulders to the right and up the school and over, up the school and over, yeah. Much better positioning, it's just gotta be right side straight so he doesn't look like he's twisting his jaw to the left, okay? Now come down the center line and do it. That's yeah, and now what you've got to think about in that leg, you're just softer left hand and straighter in the right. Softer left line. Right side straight, left leg on and over. Soft left hand, soft left hand, good. Yes! It's all right, just got to like move that bit when it goes grotty. Forwards, down the centre line and come and do one centre line to, well, between sort of B and R. Yeah, so on the line round come round and do that again it's got to be round in your outside rein yeah now flex them a little bit to the right yeah softly well done now push them off your right leg well done good otherwise he comes around the corner falling out and he makes you grab him left Keep him in your right rein ears up good and now left leg on into the right side yeah right side straighter right side straighter yeah it's still way too much left bend i know i'm nagging at you about this but you've got to fix this center line do it once more don't bend him left. Like there, he's bent left. I want you to think about almost like bending him right. Yeah, well done. Down the centre line. Now keep him here, parallel. And over to the right. Over to the right. That's the left. It's all right. Just go. Just, it's all right. Yeah, well done. Good. Right side straight. Right side straight. Good. Keep going. Up the school. Right side straight. Yes. Do you feel that? Really good. Pat him. Have a walk. Much better. Because again, you'll see on the video this way, he's just like all coiled up left and twisting his jaw. And then again, when you go on the right rein, he's gonna be an absolute little monkey because you haven't asked him to do anything in that right side at all. So again, he's like, well, we don't do that first. Yeah, shit, move that bit. Move the bit, good, and then pat him. Good, and walk on, well done. Good, not too deep. It's all about the right, man. It's all yeah, about it is all about right. Circle around to get more forward. Good. No, I don't care that he's grotty because I know then at least you're working that right rein. Good. Keep him in the right as you go onto the quarter line. Good. Don't bend him left and leg you to the right. Up and over. Good. Round in the right. Yes. Good. Keep going. Keep going. Then a 10 meter circle. Use your outside rein to turn. Keep him up on your outside rein. Well done. Good. Flexions in the right. Flexions in the right. And shoulder in round in the right not too much angle yeah right round in the right yes good and straight well done keep him in the right rein you're going to turn onto the uh, diagonal line fxh in right flexion it's all right right flexion right flexion yeah good not too much just like slightly <laughs> the straighter yeah that's it good well done good right then quarter line this way this way remember Position the shoulders to the left first. Not too much bend as you do the leg yield. Turn. Shoulders to the left. Right leg on. Up the school and over. Right flexion. Right flexion. Yeah, go down the long side. Just come and do that one again. You look like you're doing some form of half cross. You've got to think slight right flexion. Let go so that he's not like over bent right. So quarter line. Shoulders to the left. Right flexion. And now let go and over. Yes, good. Well done. Soft, soft, soft. Then circle. Good. 
in the right bend keep the bend yeah now leg your him out with your leg a little bit and then shoulder in and leg good that's more than enough it's more than enough right leg though come on more right leg yeah there good well done good okay give him a little walk much better you've got to think when it starts getting tough don't pull that left brain keep with that right leg 